What the? Thanksgiving. Is there any chance we could just not do this this year? Oh, not a chance. Every year it's the same thing. You invite every freak of nature off the street. What? Most of our guests are faculty. Right. Freaks of nature off the street. Oh, you know, this year I was thinking of inviting my TAs. Ooh, now I'm excited. <laughs> Is that a turkey? Yep. <laughs> what gives? You never do turkey. Whoa, 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 wait, wait. You're gonna cook that? Yeah, that's the idea. Um, but that's hard. Bobby, I was elected to Phi Beta Kappa. I can cook fowl to specification, okay? <laughs> Guys, it's a turkey, not a fusion reactor. Oh, really, you can take my word on this. You know, when I was growing up, we never celebrated anything. So I think holidays can be very important, especially if they're not overly commercialized or, you know, bogged down in religious ideology. Ah! So who else is coming to the potluck this year? Oh, the usual, the homeless. You migrant workers? I hear the women of the Taliban are free. <laughs> Guys, can't you feel it? Ah, oh, the fall foliage, the gathering of disparate souls to celebrate our freedom and good fortune. Come on, Bobby, we're gonna be late. Yeah. I'll have our boys and girls home by the holidays. That was Bobby's biggest campaign promise. With the War of the Americas long since declared a victory, we still had 40,000 troops policing the region. Bobby promised to have the troops home by the holidays. Everyone assumed he meant Christmas, but I knew in a McAllister house, the holidays meant Thanksgiving. Is uh, Courtney going to the potluck? I don't know. Anyway, Missy's out of town, and if she's there and Missy's not, it'll be a thing if Courtney. Don't you have some place to be? Maybe you're that right. Didn't ring yet. <laughs> I think he was on the soccer team. Uh, yeah, no. That was the ugly Matt. Matt Kramer was hot. Totally hot. Sorry, did you say Matt Kramer? Did something happen? Oh, my God. You haven't heard? Heard what? His mom found him dead last night. I heard she found him hanging. He's so sad. Matt Kramer, wasn't that that friend of yours? With we that? haven't hung out in a long time. You should get to class, Bobby. Are you okay, Jack? I'm fine, Bobby. Go to class. It looked like Bobby was going to pull it off. Then, a few days before Thanksgiving, the last ship, the William Jefferson Clinton, was heading out of port for home when we heard news of an insurgent rebellion along the coast. Bobby was forced to send the ship back. 92 minutes into their mission, the attack began. No one saw it coming. Matthew was a wonderful young man, full of potential, and he will be missed. Under the circumstances, Principal Farber thought it best to release the sophomores after this period. Tomorrow afternoon, there'll be a grief session to talk about what's happened. However, for anyone who needs assistance of any kind today, all our guidance counselors will make themselves available. What's with him? He knew Matt since kindergarten. So you were friends with him too? Not really. I knew him, but I didn't know him. I mean, he did great in school, um, put all his time into studying. He definitely didn't seem like the type that would kill himself. Um, what type is that? I don't know. I mean, nobody picked on him. I mean, he never seemed depressed. I always thought the guy was just shy. So how come Jack never introduced me? Uh, they stopped hanging out like a year ago. I mean, I asked Jack a couple times why, but... He never talked about it. Let me know if you want to grab lunch later. OK. See ya. See ya. Hey, McAllister, come on. I don't have all day. Right, Matt Kramer, social king. You got places to go and people to see. Hey, at least one of us will get into a good college. Hmm, good college doesn't mean a fun college. Sorry, no time for fun these days. Oh, tell me about it. It's like I can never see you unless I'm at the library. Where did I go wrong with you? You need a date. I don't think there are any dates left. You took them all. Only taken one lately. She's plenty. If you're gonna make fun of Missy, at least do it behind my back like a normal guy. 
Why don't you come out with us this weekend? You, me, and Missy? <laughs> She'll love that. Actually, I was talking about you and Stacy. Missy says she's into you. I could hook it up. That Kool-Aid must have tasted good. Come on, man. Stacy's hot. And she reads. Magazines. Not interested. We can go out tomorrow night, the four of us. I wish we had an instant replay so that you could hear me say no twice. What if we race for it? I'll kick your ass. You keep thinking that. When I win, you're going on that date. Oh.